What are you doing on Helena's yacht in the middle of the night, anyway? Meeting you. She's abandoned ship. Didn't you know that? She's hanging from another raft. I don't make it a habit of keeping track of Helena. In fact, the truth is, I would like to completely avoid her. Then why did you rush over here like an overeager lapdog the minute she called? You called because I thought it was hospital business. <laughs> All right, let's talk hospital business. What's up with those mysterious shipments that just disappear into nowhere? And what about this freight elevator? What, what, what is that about? At midnight, does it, suddenly, does it suddenly open up and you go down into the bowels of hell? Give me a clue! I don't have one for you. And what about the unidentified virus that puts a kid at death's door until his father shows up with a miracle cure? Where did you get it, Tony? We've been through that. Where did you get it? Johns Hopkins, remember? Yeah, I remember. I called Johns Hopkins. There was no antiviral sent to General Hospital. Don't. Tony, don't close down on me. We're on the same side. I'd know that. Why are you protecting Helena? Did she threaten your life? You think this is about me? You think it's about me and my sorry life? Do you not realize that I would sacrifice my life in a second to save Lucas? Or Bobby? Or Laura? Or Lucky? Or Lulu? Or you, for that matter? This is about the children, isn't it? That's how she got you to do whatever it is Just that you leave did. leave it alone! Leave what alone? Nothing! Nothing! All right. I'll leave it alone. I'll just keep stumbling around in the dark. I know that Helena would kill your son just for the joy of it, just because she got up on the wrong side of the coffin. But what I don't understand is the miracle cure. See, that throws a whole wrench in the deal. I figure there was a quid pro quo. She wanted you to do something you didn't want to do, so she ransomed Lucas's life.